something a little different today. Uh, get out the tomahawk. Um, I like to, you know, throw it every chance I get. I uh, haven't been at it for a month or so, a couple of months. But uh, I don't know if that's crooked. I apologize, guys. I'm still a novice, as you can tell. Um, you know, uh, this is one of the most probably primitive weapons around. It worked for about 300 years. Very effective for, you know, warfare, hunting, self-defense, whatever. They use it for a long time. Um, and it's a lot of fun to get out and throw it. Uh, there's a ton of videos on YouTube with guys that, you know, have incredible skill with these things and they do a lot of trick shots and check them out. Um, it's a lot of fun to watch. But, you know, it's one of those things, you know, you just, it takes practice, 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 and it's discouraging, or like anything else can be. But, um, you know, I, I'm, that's, I guess I'm about 30 feet now, but, you know, you, you get into a zone and all of a sudden you start to, you know, you start to get sloppy. The best thing to do, rather than get discouraged, get all mad, is walk, you know, cut your distance in half, get closer, get back to where you can be consistent, and then you can, you know, nail it 15 or 20 times and then back up. Because all it is is, is just it's technique practice and practice makes perfect. Not that I'm, I'm far from perfect. But, uh, you know, this is a, you can get some really nice ones out there. Uh, sorry about the glasses, but it's probably the bluest, the whitest snow and the bluest sky that we've had all year. And I, yeah, I can't see without them, but anyway. Um, you know, you can get a really nice work of art for $100, $150, $200. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, I'm not going to throw a $200 tomahawk. I'm not going to throw a $100 tomahawk. Um, this is, I think, $25, bucks, $30 shipped to eBay. It's uh, made by a company called Cold Steel. Uh, it is imported, whatever. But, you know, if you're going to come out here, I mean, I've thrown this hat, I've thrown this thing, I don't know, 500 times. Anyway, and you know it's you gotta keep at it and main, maintain it. But the bottom line is you get a lot of use throwing this thing. It's very tough. And uh, you know once you get good, um, you know if you want to throw a hundred and fifty dollar hawk, that's fine. But to to get started, I mean that that target there is actually a wedding gift from a very good friend of mine who does woodworking, and he's into primitive skills. Uh, very very um, just a wealth of knowledge this one particular friend of mine and uh, he gave me that because I've been throwing at stumps and trees and you're better off if you're gonna throw a hawk find uh, a piece of cedar or, or something and you know cut yourself a nice round piece off it throw into that into the grain if you start throwing into trees first of all it's not good for the trees obviously but you know you're, you're more apt to glance and um, you know you need if you're gonna practice you want to throw into the end of a log Ideally, it sticks better. It's you know it's a flatter surface. It's better you know it's just it's better practice. But like I said, if you uh, go on YouTube, do a little uh, do a little searching, and um, there's a lot of fun to watch guys that are really good with these things. And I enjoy it. I mean, I get out here in the summertime and I'll come home from work, throw it for half an hour, go inside, whatever. Uh, very relaxing, um, and uh, you know, give it a whirl. It's a lot of fun. that any day of the week. <laughs> I missed a couple. 
back there at about 30 feet. That was actually probably about 30 feet I was throwing. Um, and you know, had a couple, you know, got into a rhythm, then I started falling out of it. So best thing to do, rather than get discouraged and keep keep trying to throw from back there, move up, you know, move back up to where it's a lot easier, and just get your rhythm back and practice, because that's all. That's the only thing you can do is keep practicing, and it's a uh, it's just a lot of fun. to practice these skills all year just because it's the you know if you stop throwing a tomahawk or shooting your bow or throwing knives whatever whatever it is you do if you go four or five six months without doing it you it, you, you lose it quick um, I haven't thrown this in a couple of months and I can uh, you know I gotta you know you just gotta keep at it you know you get if you get a nice day you know get out there and just keep practicing <laughs> 